united we stand and divided we fall. Education Monday, Education Monday on the Tribal Root Studio with Alina Zahil. Changing mindsets in Africa, making a world better. Together, we can make a difference. We are fixing Africa. Education Monday. Education Monday. So ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome once again to the Tribal Root Studio. And today is the Education Monday, where we bring you all the knowledge, all the education that you need, that is important for all of Africa. Changing mindsets all the time, for we believe that it is the mindset change that is very much needed for most of our youth in Africa. And today, we are going to look at unity. Everyone has heard, everyone has spoken about it, everyone has discussed that unity is the way. Everyone has had that statement that says, united we stand and divided we fall. The education from Tribal Root Studio is bringing you the importance of unity and why unity is misused in most cases and why people really haven't grasped why people should unite. There are very many ways that people can unite and there are very many reasons that people unite. But today, I would like to point out the very various ways that I have seen people in Africa uniting. I have seen people uniting at parties when there is a jubilation and there is a lot of food and there is lots of liquor, you will find people united to jubilate and to celebrate. Number two, in Africa, people unite when they have lost a loved one. You will find them united, grieving together, paying their condolences at burials. People unite because there is a cause, a sad cause that has brought them together. The third one, I have seen people united when there is something to share, when there is money to share, when there is a harvest to share, people will unite so each one of them can get their share. I have also seen people uniting when they are fighting, when they have a common enemy, they will unite against the enemy. There are different kinds of ways where I have seen people uniting. But today, I bring you the importance of unity and why we have to redefine unity for Africa. First of all, I would like to point out that unity shouldn't be just about people coming together and sitting in one place. Unity shouldn't be just about a church congregation or people congregating in a mosque on Fridays. Unity isn't just about coming to a party where we are sharing food and sharing a laughter. Unity shouldn't be only happening when we have lost a loved one. For Africa and for ancient Africa, unity was always about duty. And that's the most important place that each one of us has got to wake up and realize that unity without a sense of duty is meaningless. For most of us, Africans on the continent and Africans in the diaspora, we have thought about unity. Every time we meet on social media and exchange communication and share ideas and also uh, have something we agree upon, we usually call that unity. But our unity is only defined by the results that we have had after we have come together. We have to identify causes. We all know Africa's challenge. We have discussed the wars in Africa. We have talked about the corruption. Everyone knows about the dire situation in most sectors, education, health, farming. But very few are uniting, very few people are uniting to 
put solutions on the table for most of those challenges. So we have to rethink, we have to re-strategize and make sure that every time we talk about unity, we have an objective, we have a goal, and each of us has a duty to play to make sure we can uh, fix some of these challenges. Tribal Root Studio theme is Fixing Africa, and we say the people who are fixing Africa is ourselves. It's you who is watching. Everyone that really cares about Africa and everyone who is African must be sure to be dutiful, to know that you have your role to play. So what is your duty? How have you moved on fulfilling your duty? How many times have you done anything that tells you that you are playing your duty, playing your role towards your duty? So we are reventing the wheel and we are changing strategies and we are changing mindsets so that you all realize that we are all people who are supposed to be playing our role for a common cause, for our duties. I'm going to give this example. Let's go back to our communities and look at the common challenges we have. In my, in my community, there are challenges of, ch challenges of poor roads. Every time we talk about poor roads in my community, you will see most of the people trying to excuse themselves from the duty of fixing the road. They think there is someone in power who should do that for them. They think it will wait upon the government to do it. But in developed nations, you won't have these poor roads and still live in that community and not fix them. So when we realize that all these poor roads only can be fixed by us, that is our duty. When we come together, when we meet, when we discuss these problems, we should also be discussing how to fix challenges like that, like the poor roads. Other ways that we can be using duty to create, uh, to create very many solutions for the problems is like making granaries. We should have food stores in our communities where we can keep food. We understand there are very many people who may be suffering from famine. Or you might come to my country, Uganda, and you find like there is a region which is hit by famine and there's a region which is actually throwing food away. So because we are not united towards fixing the farming problem in any region of the country, we let the food to waste while other people are suffering. So if we unite as beautiful people, we will be able to save the hungry of our communities. Let's also talk about starting businesses. A lot of young people need startup capital to start small businesses, but rarely do communities come together to make sure they can find startup capital for these young people? The same communities are very much able to pull funds for big and big parties and weddings. And we actually spend so much on very extravagant parties, but we cannot spend even a little to help young people to stand up, to help young people to get startup capital for their small businesses. So before we can blame anyone outside our community for our challenges, we need to look inside ourselves. We need to check to see actually if we really are failing, if we are being negligent, or if there is something we haven't done. So today I am making sure to help you realize that there are very many things we could do together. There are very many challenges we could fix together. The only thing we need to do is to all agree that our unity should be around a duty. Unity without duty is meaningless. Thank you for tuning in to Tribal Road Studio for the Education Monday. Tune in once again next week at the same time. Thank you so much. My name is Alina Sahil. Subscribe and stay with us.